Good morning, second grade. Welcome to music class. We're going to start like we normally do with a warm up. We're going to listen to Carnival of the Animals, uh, Fossils. So go ahead and stand up. If you are in a classroom, make sure you push in your chairs. All right, we're going to start with beating our feet. This isn't working. That's what it did last night and I just ignored it. Just calibrated it. Hello second grade and welcome to music class. We're going to be listening to fossils from Carnival of the Animals. So let's go ahead and stand up and get ready for our warm up. We're going to start with the stomp, stomp, lap, lap, shoulder, shoulder, head, head. Same motion we did last time. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall with really good singing posture. Que hueva, que hueva, el condor está en la cueva. Que hueva, que hueva, el condor está en la cueva. Marcha. Que hueva, que hueva, el condor está en la cueva. Que hueva, que hueva, el condor está en la cueva. 
Los pajaritos cantan, las nubes se levantan. Los pajaritos cantan, las nubes se levantan. Que sí, que no, que caigo un chaparro. 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 Let's see if we can sing the entire song and keep the beat while we sing. Ready, and here we go. Que huevo, que huevo, tan canto esta la huevo. Que huevo, que huevo, tan canto esta la huevo. Los pajaritos cantan, las nubes se levantan. Que sí, que no, que caigo un chaparro. Que sí, que no, que caigo un chaparro. All right, we'll sing that more next time when, I'm, when I come back. Moving on to Kingsland. We sang this a couple weeks ago, I hope you remember. If not, you can just listen the first time. I'm on the Kingsland, the king is not at home. He's gone to Boston to buy his wife a comb. Join me this time. Ready, and here we sing. I'm on the Kingsland, the king is not at home. He's gone to Boston to buy his wife a comb. Repeat after me. Awesome. This last time, let's just sing on Lou the whole way through, and we'll sing it together. Ready and here we sing. that we did uh, last week is We Are Dancing in the Forest. Let's see if you can sing this while sitting nice and tall. You can even do the motions if you remember. Here we go. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play. Wolf, are you there? This time, let's sing it with rhythm syllables. So we'll sing Toddy, toddy. And while you're clapping those rhythm syllables, make sure you're using two fingers and they're clapping as quietly as possible. Ready, and here we sing. Toddy, 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 toddy. Toddy, 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 toddy. Toddy, 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 toddy. Toddy, 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 toddy. All right, this time, let's sing it with soul fish. So we're gonna start on so. Everyone show me so. Show me la. And show me me. Okay, those are the three soul fish that we're gonna use. Ready and here we sing. So, so, la, la, so, so, me, So, so, la, la, so, so, me. So, so, la, la, so, so, me. So, so, la, la, so, so, Right. Moving on to Rocky Mountain. This is a, a brand new song for you. I don't think you learned it last year. So let's just make sure that we're listening and keeping the beat on our lap. Here I sing now. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain high. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. This time, let's draw the phrases. I'll draw them on the board as you draw them in the air. Ready, and here we go. Oops, here I go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain high. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. I'll pause at the end of each phrase, and I'd like you to shout out the answer of what you think we would call each phrase. For example, we know that the first phrase is going to be called A. So when I get to the end of phrase one, we're going to say the answer is A. Here I sing. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. What would we call the first phrase? A. All right. Go on again. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. 
When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. What do we think that was? If you said B, you're absolutely correct. Here I go. Rocky mountain, rocky mountain, rocky mountain high. When you're on that rocky mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 remember me. What would we call that phrase? It would be C, because it was different from all the other phrases that we've done so far. Listen very carefully to the last phrase. I think it reminds me of one of the other phrases, either A, B, or C. Here I go, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Which phrase did it remind you of? I hope you said C, and since it's very similar to C, we're going to call it C, but since it's a little bit different, we're going to add the one, so it's C prime, meaning there's just a little bit of a difference. Hmm, I would like you to sing A and B, and I'll take the rest. Ready, and here you sing, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. One more on that Rocky Mountain, my turn. Do, 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 do. the C's, and I'll take the rest. Ready, and here I go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that Rocky Mountain, hang your head and cry. Do, 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 do remember me. Do, 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 do remember me. Let's see if we can sing the entire song and I'm going to step over to the piano and play along with you. So you sing all of the song while well, I play piano. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Ready and here you sing. Bobby Shafto. Let's sing and show the motions. Ready and here we go. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea. Silver buckles on his knees. Sailed his ship to Italy. Lucky Bobby Shafto. This time, let's strut. Let's uh, show this ostinato while we are singing. Just the words. So we're gonna do lap, snap, lap, snap. Please don't do this on a desk. If you're in a classroom, make sure it's on your lap and not on the desk. Ready, and here we sing. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea. Silver buckles on his knees. Sailed his ship to Italy. Lucky Bobby Shafto. And we know, since we've been talking about this for a couple weeks, we know that there are two different kinds of beat in this song. Two different kinds of beats. Can you call out what different kinds of beats we have? So I hope you said that we have strong beats and we also have weak beats. And we were showing the strong beats when we were tapping our lap and we were showing the weak beats when we were snapping. I wonder if you can think of a different way to show strong and weak. For maybe an example, we could do, you're gonna tap your lap for strong, but you tap your head for the weak beats. Or maybe you are um, tapping or you're stomping your foot and you're tapping your nose. So something that's going to feel strong and something that's going to feel weak. You come up with your own and I'll come up with mine as well. Ready and here we go. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea. Silver buckles on his knees. Sailed his ship to Italy. Lucky Bobby Shafto. There's another way that musicians can show strong and weak beats and that's with conducting. And when you see a conductor go down, they're showing the strong beat and when they go back up, that's showing the weak beat. So hold your hands out like this and see if you can make your hands move just like mine. Down, up, down, up, 
down. Huh. So we're going to do that while we sing the song. Good luck. Ready? And here we go. Bobby Shafto's gone to sea. Silver buckles on his knees. Sailed his ship to Italy. Lucky Bobby Shafto. Hmm. This time, we'll conduct, but you're only allowed to sing when your arms are going down on the strong beats. If your arms are going up, it's a weak beat, and you're going to have to hear that in your head. So it'll look like this. Bobby, gone to, etc. Good luck. If you're singing when I'm not singing, you know you're singing during the weak beats, and you shouldn't be. So we'll see if you can sound just like me. Ready, and here we go. Bobby, gone to, silver, on his, sailed his, it's lucky shot. Ooh, I hope you did a nice job. Let's see what it would actually look like with real music. Because when we have strong and weak beats, we can actually start to divide the song up into what are called measures. So what we do is we make a bar line. Anytime we have a weak beat, you're going to put the bar line after the weak beat. So for example, we have Bobby, that was our strong sound, or our strong beat, and then shafto, that is actually a weak beat. So right after that weak beat, we're gonna draw a bar line like this. Oh, let's use a, a different color. All right, so there's a bar line. Bobby shafto's gone to see. We have another weak beat here, so we're gonna actually put another bar line. Let's keep going. So this is silver buckles, here we go. Silver buckles, we need another bar line. On his knees, sailed his ship to Italy. Lucky Bobby Shafto. Looks like we have a rhythm mistake here at the end. It should be ta di ta di ta ta. So I'm going to go ahead and scribble that ending out. Okay. So we have ta di ta di ta ta And we use a very special bar line at the end. We put two lines. It's called a double bar line. And that means the song is over. So we put a double bar line at the end. And finally, the last thing we need is the time signature. That goes right here. So we're going to write a number that shows how many beats are in each measure. So here we have a measure. Here we have a measure. Here's another measure. So anywhere that we have between bar lines, that's a measure. So this is beat one, this is beat two. So how many beats are in each measure? I hope you said two, because two is gonna be the top number, and there's a bottom number, and that tells us which note gets the beat. The quarter note gets the beat, so we're gonna write a four. So our time signature is two, four, or we could call it two beat meter. Last thing we're going to do before we uh, play our game, we're going to sing with rhythm syllables and conduct. All right, sit nice and tall, and we're going to be singing Ta's and Toddies while conducting. Ready, and here we sing. Ta-dee, ta 